We're off with Kate and Tommy Wilson. She is rounding those trees there. I'm going to pause this and we'll catch her at the top. All right, we're back. Kate has hit the top. She's a speedy little thing. And it's a long ways up there. But if you can't see, she has just now lifted those sheep. Straight, actually. When Kate came by me to head to the post, she just looked really bright and uh, ready to roll. A lot of the dogs are looking kind of tired in this altitude, but I noticed how uh, bright she looked. through the panel there. We're missing the panel due to that pine tree. But this group has come down better than than most. It has been kind of a slug fest, but just trotting down through there pretty nice. <laughs> wrong flight there. <clears throat> she is a speedy little thing and her speed kind of writes the wrong there in a fast order. He needs to be on this side of that tree there. Ooh, a little high. He will And that's really the difference between some of these handlers, uh, the new handlers and the real seasoned good handlers. They'll just correct that and put them right back online and stay online.
Tommy is one of the nicest guys you'll the ever meet. Here, this just a good competitor, field. great sport. Funny, funny man. He was on the all David Letterman show. There. If you many, haven't many Googled many that or seen that, that's on this drive just uh, Google Tommy Wilson and David so Letterman. The dog and the no. dog directs it's a the treat sheep. to watch him and his dogs. Uh, through the panel there now, just making the turn. If we can get these sheep turned and bring them that back down off the hillside. Not all border collies are adapted and skillful enough to take the training that's required to compete at this level. This is sort of the upper, upper end of the trialing world. Many Border Collies have good instinct and skills, make great ranch dogs, and then there are a few that just don't have any of that animal herding, don't feel the urge to move things and hold things, and so they will make it a good pet. But they are very active dog breed. They require a family that has lots of activities outside, exercise, running, hiking. They do not make good pets for the apartment. They will find things to do. They are all very bright, very athletic, even if they don't have the herding instinct. And so they will find things to do in your house or in your yard that may not be appreciated. They don't warehouse well. They need activity. They need stimulation for their brain and their body. Nice work here as we bring them down off the hillside into the shedding ring. Tom Wilson now. Sorry about that. A little wasp on my finger. <laughs> in Virginia. Yikes. His dogs get a lot of good practical ranch work as well as trialing experience. This is a neat little dog. Look at that. She has got her side. <laughs> Tom used to run one of my very favorite dogs called Sly. that awesome? Oh, wow. The, sh the shed was called and complete. So now, Katie has to get this group of sheep down to the pen, and let's see if we can't get them tucked inside that pen. Trying to get one of those top six scores from today's competition. Each day is its own separate trial, own separate competition. So handlers competing against other scores in that day to get the top six to come back on Monday. Our top score with that 88 already qualified in. So that's taken out of today's competition for the qualifying round. Not sure if you heard that. Uh, the announcer say it's the top six of the day that gets into the double lift. He has two minutes left.
Tommy, he's from Scotland. He knows sheep as good as anyone. We're down to 54 seconds. Thirty one seconds. He's dressed in his dog. Three seconds, two seconds, and that'll be time. And stopped right there. 13 minutes gone. What a good run.